today guys uh, we're working on changing the oil in the Camry now as you're working underneath the car safety is number one I've got a jack and I've got a plunk of wood under here just to support it as well should the jack fail now that's the sump plug that's where the oil filter is so we'll undo that and train the oil and then we'll undo that this is a Toyota so these are different to the usual canisters that you're used to um, unscrewing and replacing totally all right to undo the sump plug we need a number 14 millimeter spanner obviously it's all counterclockwise and clockwise to do it up so i use a uh, mallet just to break it loose and then we'll drain the oil now this is what you under, use to undo the oil filter in the Toyota Camry. Now you've got two choices, or oh, three, you can get something that fits in there and do it that way. You can get a shifter spanner, or you can get a socket that fits on here and undoes it that way. So there are your choices. As you can see, the oil's still draining. There you are. I've got to get now this little uh, cup can only fit on it one way as you can see there's three grooves on one side and one on the other so it's just a case of lining so here's a bit of advice also put some goggles on so you don't get oil in your eyes yeah, so you get one there's our three uh, slots there I've got one on this side and the end here so let's just put this on as you can see and then we uh, just undo it like any other thing so now that's the uh, canister off and as you can see there's the filter now there's the new one that basically just goes in there now we've got the o-ring which replaces it there now this is the way I do it and this is the way I'm, I'm not going to do it the other way but I'll just briefly explain it to you anyway the way I do it is I take the uh, canister off be careful you don't spill any oil because it will be full of oil Drain the oil straight into the um, container that I've got here. And then I remove the filter, I remove the old O-ring, and then I clean it all up, put the new filter in, the new O-ring on, and then screw it back in. Now, what are you guys are gonna say? Well, the ways who have never done it before, what's the other O-ring for? And what's the little plastic plug for? Now, what you do, is get the handle off a spanner set, I um, mean a socket set, and then you undo this metal screw, uh, screw, or uh, well, we'll just call it a screw, this bolt, whatever you like to call it, plug. Um, you take that out, you put this in, drains the oil out of the uh, filter canister, and then you unscrew it, take it off. Now, it's a total waste of time for anyone who's ever used uh, the old blue, the old canister filters. Now, the second O-ring is, because this little metal plug, screw, whatever you like to call it again, um, you take the O-ring off and put the new O-ring on, screw it back in a place for next time. <laughs> a lot of time wasting, um, but it's, I suppose it's Japanese politeness. I suppose they don't want you to spill oil into, get oil into your eyes, which is the reason why I advise to wear some protection goggles when you're undoing these. Alright, so let's get this cleaned up. Yeah. To get this off, you just get a screwdriver or a little pick and pull it off, and the other one just rolls on. And the filter, there's no right or wrong way, it just slides in. Alright. Now, as you can see, that's where it's gonna screw up, screw back into. Now the canister itself is some sort of heavy duty plastic, so don't go too hard on it. Um, it screws in manually at first and then just use the uh, little tool put back in that's what it looks like brand new filter brand new o-ring like i said i didn't undo the uh the cap the screw the bolt whatever you like to call plug now i put the uh some plug back in um i haven't tightened it yet i'll do this and then i'll tighten them both up spray them both with some degreaser and wash it all down all right fairly easy and now the final stage, we have to fill it up with oil. Now, 
the location of the oil filler cap is in the first photo. You just unscrew it, put a funnel in, and pour the oil in. Now, what type of oil you use, it depends on um, the environment the uh, car is operating in. The manual clearly shows what type types of oil to use in uh, various operating temperatures. So I'll leave the rest up to you, uh, ladies and gents. Uh, good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>